I testified before the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, and they were looking at the Chinese AI model company DeepSeek, trying to understand what DeepSeek's V3 and R1 models mean for U.S. leadership in AI and what steps the federal government needs to take to maintain and preserve U.S. leadership in the wake of pretty strong Chinese competitors. I tried to make the point that the long-standing trope that China cannot innovate, they can only copy, is false. And DeepSeek shows that actually China can both copy and innovate and do both at a pretty high level. The other point that I tried to make is that existing U.S. policies related to competing with the United States and China in artificial intelligence are making an impact despite DeepSeek's advances. I pointed out that the CEO of DeepSeek pointed out that U.S. AI chip export controls are the number one challenge facing his company. And I pointed out that in the absence of the export controls that were started under the first Trump administration, continued in the Biden administration, and are now under discussion in the second Trump administration, that if we hadn't had those export controls, it's entirely possible that the largest AI chip computing clusters in the world would already be in China. 